Should we start? We'll be delay. <clears throat> you ready? <laughs> I don't want to sit next to your face, cute. I'm going to giggle through this whole thing, probably. Hey, good. Okay. You ready? That's cute. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? There you go. It's me and Mo, and we're back with a new episode of Since You Ask. In the back is my brother. Hopefully, this time he won't run off after five seconds. Uh, let's get started. First question we're about to do, we're so sorry. We accidentally skipped over you. This is a question from October 20th. Hopefully, you're still alive. Blame it on Monique. Um, not be her reading all extra. That's why, okay, somebody said something about me not saying nothing. Keisha prefers to read all the questions because she can read fast. She be missing shit though. <laughs> she, read, she want to read fast. I can't read stuff that don't have punctuation marks because I be, be needing to pause. And it might take me five minutes to figure out what just happened. So, yeah. Uh, but yeah, Monique's going to talk more of these next couple of videos. And just so you know, when you send us in your question, we film everything in one day. So, we're going to get to you and the video will be up. So, just know that we have a lot of questions before yours. But we digress. Okay, let's start. First question. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Mo. Okay, straight to the point. I was with my daughter's father for five years. To make a long story short, he cheated on me with his son's mother off and on throughout the relationship and with other women. I even caught him with my own two eyes, if you know what I mean. Uh -uh. But, tell <laughs> <laughs> but tell me why I want to get back with him. I don't know if it has to do with me hating to be alone, missing the late night talks, or just having a man around, or now that we've separated from each other, we're good friends. Not only that, after the breakup, he moved in with his son's mother. I asked if we could try things out again. I know, LOL, roll your eyes. He had the nerves to say when I changed my attitude, but you're the cheater, but I haven't met anyone I'm interested in. And if so, in a couple of weeks, their girl is calling my phone bitching. What to do to get rid of this lonely ass feeling? Will I ever meet anyone good enough? Uh. There's a binaural B for that. Uh, I don't shit. What is what was that? October twentieth. Yeah. So you it's probably Christmas time. You all in your feelings right now? Oh lord. Yeah, you probably skinny and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> no advice for you, because if you want to still be with him after you saw with your own two eyes him cheating on you. I guess everybody go through that phase. I guess. I don't know. What do you think? Get over it. He where he want to be at. Yeah. Mm -mm. Basically. If it was meant to be, y'all be together. Um, He's been probably waiting on her to take him back. Who got the oldest kid? Um, I'm just asking. I just don't understand what about him do you want. He cheated on you. You caught him red-handed and... A lot of women are addicted to dog ass men, and that's because it's what you're used to, and you are afraid of going out there and trying something new. And yeah, y'all be wondering why y'all can't meet no good man because y'all still stuck on the last man y'all was dealing with that didn't treat you right. Y'all gotta wipe the slate clean, figure out what's going on with you, and open yourself up to being with somebody that's gonna actually treat you right. Is he need a place to stay? And uh, she got better groceries at the house. <laughs> Y'all wanted her to talk for. <laughs> Y'all go get it. What Monique said, uh, you got anything to say, brother? She probably no. get one of them cars. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't no shade to you. Because <laughs> Cause I know some people who freeze and be back to the capacity, oh. and it don't be nothing in mind. But I, so yeah. there was no shade. But I bet you that's what it is. Yeah, I think you need to move on. Move on. No, he is not the man for you. But hopefully, because yeah, Thanksgiving was just two weeks ago. Hopefully, you didn't have him over, getting leftovers. Let us know what you did, girl. Sorry it took us so long to answer your question. Send us an update. Next question. <clears throat> your profile picture is cute miss thing hey keisha and mo m o y'all not m o e she is not a fucking three stooges 
So I figured I would jump right in. My situation isn't new or groundbreaking, but here it is. I've been bisexual since high, since high school. I had my first relationship with another female when I was 17, and I have dated both men and women since then. I'm a few, few years shy of 30. My last actual relationship with a woman was about six years ago. After her, I made a serious career change, got engaged to a man, and subsequently had a son with him. The engagement didn't last, and we went our separate ways. Since then, I've det been determined to have a traditional family structure, mother, father, stepfather, and child. The last relationship I was in started as a fairy tale, as they all do, and then turned into a burning pile of shit. The man was a cheater liar, and he ended up being violent towards me. Well, shortly before I ended the relationship with his crazy ass, I reunited via Facebook with the last woman I had been serious with. Mind you, by this time, years had passed, but our connection and vibe was still there. Well, still the same. She is literally everything I could want in a lifelong partner. Intelligent, ambitious, family-oriented, loyal, stable, attractive, culture, basically just, you know, an all-around great person. She also wants a serious relationships and talks about marriage. And I can't sit here and deny the fact that I do have strong feelings for her. So here's my conundrum. Even though I know it's 2016 and we're all supposed to be an advanced people, I struggle with the thought of raising my son with two mothers. And it has nothing to do with my family or friends because they have always been super supportive and open-minded. It's just I feel as though I have already failed my son by not having a successful relationship with his father. He's already missing out on the most important male figure in his life. And I feel selfish to place my romantic needs above his chance at having a normal upbringing. I must... I just need some objective advice. I know my situation may seem silly, but it's still it's really wearing me down. Thanks. I can't think of a clever name. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> I'm trying to be they don't want me to talk so much. So they didn't they just said they want me to talk more. They didn't say they want you to talk so much. We're gonna do that anyway. I know. I'm just waiting. Well you definitely didn't have shit good to say about this <laughs> right there. <laughs> Oh, he's a pile of shit. Mm, why did you break up with with the uh, the woman that you were in a relationship with? Why did they break up the first time? Mm -hmm. Oh, six years ago, so they was young. She thirty now. I mean, no. I mean you. I mean, it it could. That, what you what that mean? She remembers all this good shit about this woman. So, what, what you do? <laughs> um. um. I don't think that you should be so concerned with your son being raised by two mothers. I mean, it's the same thing as your son being raised by a single mother. I mean, it's still, you know, you want to have your child's father in the picture, but he's if he's not in the picture, there's nothing you can do about it. And if this woman makes you happy and is good for to you and your child, then go for it. I mean, this is 2016. Men and men are raising children. Women and women are raising children. As long as she's going to be a good parental figure to your child i don't see what the problem is i think you just need to go for it and see what happens as long as he around love and positivity yeah. i say go for it i mean you you tripping your son probably will be happy just to see you happy yeah well answered. yeah and you pretty girl she yeah cute. hey we have an update i think this is the question from the young lady who was dating the guy that had troubles at home with his mother. And he ended up getting locked up for, I think, al alcoholism. But then he ended up uh, going to like a rehab or something like that. And she was trying to figure out should she continue to write him. And we were telling her that she needed to move on and just be a friend from afar <clears throat> until he get himself together. Because he was kind of like depressed and stuff all the time. I think this is who it is. That is. Okay. Sadie, so the last, so the day I sent the email, I got a letter from Josh telling me everything that happened. He told me everything that was happening between that time he broke up with me to the day he got arrested. He told me the reason why he was becoming distant was because he didn't want me to have to see him like that or worry about the problems he had. He said he knew he fucked up and wanted to keep that away from me because I have my own shit to worry about. He realized this is his wake up call and he has no choice but to get it together because that's the only way he will be happy also he and his best friend aren't best friends anymore anymore because the only people he has spoken to were his mom and i he has no friends at this point and he's only reached out to me because i've been the only person telling him he's worth something all he has to do is apply himself so far i've written him a couple of times and he's called me as well in no way am I trying to be his strength or fix him. I realize that's not in my hands. That's in the Lord's hands. We've both pretty much agreed that there will be no talk of relationships or is or is being together until he gets better and is in the right state of mind. I'm okay with being his friend. We've been talking about books to read and things like that. So just to give y'all some more info on his mom. 
She used to tell him all the time that he was the one night stand that ruined a marriage. And if his little brother was born before him, he wouldn't have even been her. Mm -hmm. All right, mama. I would like to think she was joking, but I can't put it past her. And she has said stuff in front of me. I could see how it like destroyed him. She has not been mean to me or anything like that, but it just goes to show her true colors and who she is. For him, he realized that he has to separate from her. He loves his mom and he's always been there for her, but he knows that he has to go ahead and do him, which I'm so glad he realized that because she said some terrible shit to him and he doesn't deserve it anyway. So far, he's doing better and focusing on loving himself and just seeing the brighter side of life. Thank you all for your help. Well, I'm glad we can help y'all. Happy you realize that you cannot be his strength and you cannot fix him. He has to fix himself. And um, yeah, his mom is fucked up. I mean, with... his mom is fucked up. He come from fucked up. So yeah. I hope that he gets better. Just uh, stay on that path. Um, don't let him stray away from the friendship and the book talk. Yeah, just stay focused. And he just... ain't been in there long enough to yeah. get desperate. Don't be so invested in his life and what's going on with him and his mama. You know, that's his cross to bear. You need to focus on you and what you got going on. And keep your distance. Keep your feelings together. And keep it tight. And keep it right. Because he going to get out soon or wherever he at. And you know, he probably going to be calling you. And your cooch going to be a little wet. But don't fall for it, Bernie. Okay. Why you got to talk like that? I mean, it's life. Um, where we at right here? so disrespectful. One, two... Three, so we did four. Where did I get up from? <laughs> Next question. Hey, Keisha Mo. First off, I would like to say I love you both and appreciate you guys for brighten up my day every time you make your videos and release your books. Thank you. Secondly, I would like to stay anonymous. P.S. I apologize in advance if it's a little long. Okay, so first I want to mention that I am 27 years old and have been married for seven years to my wonderful husband who's 32. About almost two years ago, we had a son born prematurely at 24 weeks who passed away after six beautiful days on earth. And it was and still is a very hard thing for us to go through considering that we have infertility issues and it took us essentially two IVF cycles and four years of praying just to get him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, since my son passed, my husband and I have both gained about 50 pounds and went into a semi-deep depression period. But are slowly coming out of it now since we have finally come to grips that it was nothing we could have done to prevent this from happening. We have finally gotten to the point where we can talk about him, the labor, his death, and even mention his name without breaking down into tears. And about a month ago, we decided we're ready to try again for another baby. My question to you guys is this. We've obviously... We'll have to do another IVF cycle to get pregnant again. And because I've given birth prematurely before, I will be heavily watched by my OBGYN and a maternal fetal specialist since we will be considered extremely high risk. However, since I have gained 50 pounds in a year and a half, I'm considered obese now. But our time clock due to the infertility issues are drastically cut in half. Doctors estimate by 29 for me before menopause. So the question is, would you guys lose weight first and put off having another child until your weight is down due to the increased risk of premature birth due to a higher weight? Or would you focus on having a baby now and then lose weight after afterwards once the baby is safely here since you've been watched away, especially due to the time constraints? Thank you so much for your advice. We really just want another baby, but I also want to do this as safely as possible because I don't know if we can take another loss. Definitely try to lose the weight. Yeah. And it's not going to be, I mean, it's 50 pounds. Granted, it's 50 pounds. It's not 100 pounds. I think that you, in, in a few months, can get rid of at least half of that weight. Mm -hmm. And that would probably make a significant difference. So I would talk to my doctor to see, like, What's a healthy uh, weight? Do you have to actually get down a whole 50 pounds? But what would be a healthy goal for you to start trying again? And y'all can just work together. Yeah, I, uh, one of our best friends went through exactly what she went through. Not the IVS part, but she lost her baby. Um, how many months was she? About four or five, six months when she had her baby uh, premature. And she died a day later, I believe. And she still mourns the death of her child. It's still not something that you'll be able to get over 
uh, just you know over a day or two or even a year or so it's something that will always be with you she still mourns the death of her little girl every year her birthday comes around and when she got pregnant her second time she had a really hard pregnancy all the way up until the end but she finally was blessed with her little girl and she's just so happy but, you know, she had to do what she had to do throughout the pregnancy to ensure that her baby girl got her safely. So, I agree with Monique. I think that you should lose the weight first. Do whatever your doctor tells you that you need to do in order to make sure that the baby gets her healthy, safe, and sound. And then even after you have the baby, lose, you know, whatever weight that you gain from that pregnancy. Because you want to ensure that you have a healthy, happy baby. And you want to ensure that you are here to see it, because you don't want anything to happy, happen with you, exactly. or you die, or anything like that. God forbid. So, pictures when she or he gets here. Are you going to say anything? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. She you look like this about <laughs> 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 about the piece of shit. She already tired. anonymous i love y'all videos and honest advice i've been with my boyfriend on and off since 2012 he's 33 and i'm 30 and i need advice whether i should stay or go when we met he had a job no car and living with his parents nope <laughs> <laughs> he had been in in and out of jail prior and was turning his life around after a year of dating he moved in with me i'm college educated and had a car in my own place since we've been together he would help me out by paying a bill or two but never have the rent or anything why do you like this man what about him do you like in 2014 i broke up with him because i found out he was cheating Leave. He just needed a place to stay, girl. Go. When I told him he had to go, he blew up at me and trashed my place. Go. I was so hurt he told me it was all my fault for going through his phone. Nigga shit. He apologized and said he would never do it again, but I didn't take him back. In October 2015, we reconnected. He had lost his job. Shoot. Of course he reconnected with you after he was down on his luck again. Okay, he had lost his job, had a newborn baby, and back hustling. But I still loved him a lot, so I decided to give him another chance. Things moved fast. He was back staying with me, helping me out with household things, but not paying any rent or bills. He has, ma he has matured in a lot of ways. But a lot of the time, I find myself thinking that I'm settling and deserve more. When we get in small arguments, he likes to bring up the minor things that he does for me and makes <clears> it <throat> seem like everything is my fault. My family can't stand him. I'm sure they can't. I can't either. Um, because of all things we've been through, I have a great relationship with his family and 13-year-old daughter. But I don't think the mother of his one-year-old son even knows about me. When he goes to pick him up in my car, I can never go with him because he's still fucking her. Oh, when she calls, he always turns the volume down on his phone and rushes to hang up with her when I'm around. And that really bothers me. When I talk to him about doing more as far as paying rental bills, he always brings up his kids and things he has to do for them. And now he's trying to get his life together. I don't have any kids, but I turned 30 last month. And it's had me reflect on a lot of things and the things I'm trying to accomplish in the future. We've been through so much and I have so much history but it feels like we have several obstacles against us i'm torn on whether i should stick it out or get out now on paper we are not on the same level in life but have great fuck that but have great chemistry and have a great time when things are good but when things are bad they're really bad i've tried to leave in the past but i miss them so much we get back together any advice is greatly appreciated love y'all thanks fuck them girl fuck them fuck, fuck them girl fuck, fuck them no nah, don't do that no no no. Leave so when when people alone. say I know chemistry means several things, but you think the dick is good. Let me right. tell you about how when you ain't got shit else to offer. <laughs> but dick <laughs> and a headache. <laughs> dick and a headache. Oh my god, girl, he's still fucking the other baby mama. Duh, how it's you don't even understand that? You know what? I don't know why every time you while you were reading this, I was just thinking uncircumcised. Like he just seems so dirty to me. <laughs> And we looking at your profile picture. And your profile picture said you are tired. Yeah, and you yes. are upset all the time. You just angry and mad. This is how you probably walking around looking all day. Just that's how her <laughs> profile picture look. You don't. 
No, but she should she should not stay with him. It was it was like three red flags in the whole in the whole her her little story that she was saying that she was saying. It's all out of convenience, I think it is. He only yeah. want to be with you because he ain't got no other place to be right about now. And why would you want to be with somebody that barely helps you, cheat on you, his baby mama is still in the picture and they still fucking. Girl. The only, only thing he's good for is exhausting your ass. Exhausting because you look tired. And you, you look don't tired. You look like you, you look drive like slow than a motherfucker on your way home from work. That's because you, you look tired like. of that nigga. <laughs> Oh my God! Then he fuck up your shit when he get mad. It, I know for a lot of girls, it's easier to stay with somebody that make you feel bad because it's the fear of the unknown and how it's gonna feel to be without them. Because when you break up with somebody, you literally go through withdrawals. It's like a fiend, like you go through withdrawals and this shit hurt, and you don't want to feel that. So it's better and easier to go back to it, so you won't have to feel that pain. But you got to feel that pain and leave that nigga alone, because nothing about him makes you look good, feel good. You got everything uh -uh. That you said was a sign that you are not in a good relationship. Why do you keep second guessing yourself? There's nothing yeah. that you want in this man, not a goddamn thing. Mm -mm. He gonna you can have to great chemistry down. with somebody else, but if you stay in this situation, by the time you meet somebody new, you ain't gonna have shit left to give him. Mm -mm. And you. Blocking your blessings. You thank God you ain't got no kids with this nigga. Bitch, run now before you get pregnant. Before he nut up in you. Jesus Christ, just block it at all costs. No. You will find a good dick no elsewhere. Mm -mm. No, please don't sit on it no more. And pray to God he don't give you nothing. Mm. Whew. Um, so yeah, that was the end of this video. Please send us an update. Uh for all of you that reached out to us. If you have a question, email us at since you ask one at gmail.com. Uh, let us know what you thought about these questions down below in the comment section. Please make sure to thumbs up this video. <laughs> what you looking at that for? Your face. <laughs> to thumbs up this video and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> we love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye. The third installment to my China Black series titled Heartless is available right now at Amazon.com. Get your copy now.